I don't know if you guys have given much thought about how to get the tube uh, thing, this this guy, into the habitation hub. Um, here's what I thought about. To get this guy in the habitation hub, you have to be pretty precise in your movements and how to get here and first of all figure out how to hold this thing which was the biggest challenge that I came across. I really just wanted something to hold it over the front of the robot like this and I thought well I don't even need any motors for that. I thought about holding it up with something and then letting it down like this and then driving it forward and I thought about putting something on the back that would hold it and then like this and something with this but I, I thought I don't need a motor for that so there has to be a way that I can hold this with the robot without using any motors. And this is what I came up with. This, I thought, well, I could just put this on the front of the robot and it'll hold it like this. But that happens, especially when I drive and it shakes around and it just, it doesn't work. So I thought, well, I can come up with this braces for it so it would hold it in place as it drove and kind of shook now this is good but guess what it still wiggles out so I added something else it looks something like this I added this yellow Lego pulley band and it comes in your kits uh, I mean so you you can use it and it keeps it still and snug in there while this thing moves forward and back and forth and it's not gonna fly out or jiggle out it's gonna stay right there so as the robot drives forward you can just put it in uh, I mean I, maybe you can come up with something like this I don't know uh, maybe you have a better way if you have a better way show me but let's let's see how this thing this thing works Like this thing it's it works really well it holds the tube it's not gonna fall out no matter what you do it's pretty sturdy and it does the job and that's what's most important so maybe you can make something like this maybe it doesn't have to look like this maybe you can make something that does the same thing and get the tube into the habitation hub with no motors passive just driving the robot and if you notice in the video, the robot keeps going. It stops and then it goes again, it stops and then it goes again. And it's actually making minute adjustments there. So be careful programming that out and it's gonna be perfect every time. So good luck. I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, let's, let's watch it one more time. So if this helped you at all, give you an idea, inspiration, some direction, like this video. If you like the video, just like the video for that reason, just stay tuned, subscribe for more mission inspiration coming your way. I'll see you guys soon.